In this video, I'm going to show you one of the best rated products that will literally change the way you are doing things. Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get real and working PS1 emulator for iPhones and all iOS devices, including iPads and iPods. As you can see here guys, this is the PS1 emulator. It's called EPSXE. And this emulator here basically allows you to play all PS1 games out there. So it's as if you have an actual PS1 on your iPhone. And now here guys is the menu section. So this is the interface. You get your BIOS. You can check your BIOS here. Play multiplayer with other people who own this app and change the settings as well. So the BIOS comes pre-installed. You don't have to worry about any of that. And as long as you have the game files on your phone, they'll show up in this section here. So these are the games that I have. And I'm just going to turn on one. So this is um, a pretty well-known game. It's called Tekken 3. You've probably already played it before. And as you can see, guys, it starts up just fine without any problems whatsoever. And of course, you get to customize the graphics and resolution. You can make it higher definition if your phone can handle it. And aside from that, you can customize the controls as well. So the controls are pretty standard. You get your buttons on the right side and a D-pad on the left side. And you can actually add the joystick as well, if that's what you prefer. And on the left side, you see that red button. That's how you go back to the menu area. All right, now let's just skip the cutscene and let's go to gameplay. So just press start. All right, now let's just play a quick game. So I just want to demonstrate the emulator for you guys. Let's go with um, let's go with this. Let's go with Huarang. Okay. It's loading up and there you go guys starts up just fine so there you have it this is how you get a working ps1 emulator for iphones and all ios devices all right now to download it what you want to do is head over to this website right here modsvilla.com modsvilla.com all right now once you're on the website just scroll down a bit until you see a search bar and in the search bar just go ahead and type in ps1 now once you've done that, you should see the EPSXE icon. Go ahead and press the icon and you should see a download button below the icon. Now go ahead and press the download button. And once you've done that, all you have to do is just sit back and wait for a couple of seconds around a few minutes. So just sit back and wait and let the website download and install the PS1 emulator onto your phone. Almost done. A little while more. Almost done. All right, now before you proceed, you're gonna be taken to this page here. Now in order to pass this page, all you have to do is follow all the instructions that you see. Now the instructions tells us to download two apps and follow the instructions for each app. So I've just selected this app here and the instructions tells us to download it and run it for 30 seconds, which is exactly what I'm doing right here. Now I won't be doing another app and I'm just gonna fast forward this part as I already have EPS XE install on my phone, but yep, yeah, basically once you've passed this page, you have EPS XE automatically installed to your phone. So there you have it guys, this is how you get a working PS1 emulator for iPhones and all iOS devices.